Okay, the first thing we're going to do is to set up Audacity. I've started Audacity and I'm going to start it recording and you'll notice that it's not really recording anything yet. Well, what I've got to do is to go back to my music source, in this case Windows Media Player. I've already set it up with a MIDI file to play and I'm going to play that now. Now I'm going to speak over the music just a bit. I'm going to let this run for probably a minute because I want to get an idea of where I can pull out the piece I want. This is going to go about halfway through now. And the reason I'm doing this is I really don't want the front part of this, which was the lead in. It isn't very interesting. Now, where did they get the MIDI file? Well, I just found it on the web and downloaded it for nothing. And Windows Media Player, as well as QuickTime, will play your MIDI files for you. All I'm interested in doing now is getting sound to come out of the speaker and I can record it using Audacity automatically. So I'm coming close to the end of what I'm going to play. And that's about as much as I needed to go. That's going to repeat a couple of times the whole melody there. What I'm doing now though is going back and looking for the place that I'd like to start this. So I've repositioned Audacity. I'm going to start by getting rid of all that gas at the front, that dead sound. Now I'm going to play this again. And I'm going through this part at the front that's the intro I'm really not too interested in. Right about here is where I want this thing to start. So now I'm going to go back and try and find it. And I may not be too precise about this. Maybe it's here. Oh no, doggone it. I didn't go back far enough. Let me go back farther now. And I'm scrolling with this scroll bar at the bottom. Let's try this point. Right there is where I want. So I'm going to guess, put the point right there. Now I'm going to mark this thing all the way from the start to the cursor. And then I'm going to delete what's been highlighted. Now let's go back to the beginning. And now I've got to do pretty much the same thing for the end. If that's where I want to start, where do I cut this thing off? Let's search for it. All right. And maybe it's close to where I want it cut off, but well, I think I might just take it at that point. Um, what I'm go going to do now is finalize this thing. What I just showed you was highlighting everything and then doing a function called normalize. So you might want to go back and review that. Normalize, you'll notice the waveform had gotten smaller. Now what I'm doing is saving this as a wave file. And a wave file is doesn't lose anything. It's not compressed. It's rather large. 
Now then I'm going to save it as an MP3, which is really what you want to save a ringtone or any kind of a file as for playback on a sound player. When I save it as an MP3, I click it here to get a more compatible file, put a title in, I'm just calling this Chicago ringtone, and I could put other information in, it's not absolutely necessary. The genre is what some sound players use for selecting things. I would just make this other because I don't think there is a title for genre of ringtone. Now saving as an mp3 takes a little while longer. More processing has to be done. I've chopped out a little bit of this here so that we speeded that process up. Now what I'm going to do is just to get out of Audacity, I'm not going to save it as a project. I've saved it as a WAV file. That's how I would do further editing. The project is kind of troublesome. I haven't had very much success using Audacity to save whole projects. Now I'm going to go look for the file that I created and play it. You'll notice it in a slightly lower volume because of the normalization process. And I'm playing it back with Windows Media Player. At some point here I think I'll just turn on visualization so that this becomes a little more interesting to look at. I'll just pick out a visualization at uh, random here. And this will end in just about uh, a couple of seconds here. It's not really much longer than 30 seconds, which is as long as a ringtone really needs to be.